हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand a stable multivibrator. A stable multivibrator is also known as free running multivibrator. So, a stable multivibrator is also known as free running multivibrator because without giving any input, it produces the square wave as output. We can design a multivibrator using triple five timer. transistor or an op amp so we can use triple five timer transistor or op amp to design a multi vibrator in this lecture we will understand a multi vibrator which is designed using a op amp before understanding the working of a stable multi vibrator let us understand a comparator This figure shows a comparator circuit where we are not using any feedback in the circuit. So V saturation is nothing but plus VCC that is connected, and here minus V saturation is nothing but minus VEE, which is negative terminal of the voltage. So the output of this comparator will be plus V saturation or minus V saturation depending upon the voltage across negative terminal of an op amp and positive terminal of an op amp. Let us take V N as voltage across negative terminal of an op amp, V P as voltage across positive terminal of an op amp. Now, in this comparator circuit, if V N is greater than V P, at that case, the output voltage V naught will be equal to minus V saturation, and if V P is greater than vn at that case output voltage will be equal to plus v saturation so output will be negative v saturation if vn is greater than vp and output will be plus v saturation if vp is greater than vn with this knowledge let us understand the working of a stable multi vibrator This figure shows the a stable multi vibrator. Here, from the output, a feedback is connected to negative terminal of an op amp as well as a positive terminal of an op amp, as shown in this figure. At the negative terminal, a capacitor is connected, which is in turn connected to ground. In this circuit, voltage across capacitor is V C, and voltage across negative terminal V N will be equal to vc so whatever voltage that is appearing across the capacitor will be same as voltage at the negative terminal of an op amp therefore we can say vn is equal to vc so here voltage across positive terminal of an op amp will be equal to vp is equal to if you apply voltage divider rule across this terminal we will get r2 divided by R one plus R two into V naught. So we can take this R two divided by R one plus R two as a new term as beta. So we can say V P is equal to beta times V naught. Here beta is nothing but R two divided by R one plus R two. so here the voltage that is connected we call that as plus v saturation and here the voltage will be minus v saturation therefore output voltage of this circuit can be plus v saturation or minus v saturation depending upon the voltage across vn and vp now let us see the operation of this circuit now let us assume initially output voltage is plus v saturation if the output voltage is plus v saturation due to feedback the voltage across vp will be equal to vp is equal to beta into v saturation initially let us consider voltage across capacitor is zero initially let us say vc is equal to zero and output voltage v not is equal to plus v saturation so output voltage is plus v 
saturation when the output voltage is plus v saturation the capacitor will start charging so the capacitor will start charging and once the capacitor voltage reaches the cutoff voltage which is beta v saturation voltage across capacitor which is voltage across the negative terminal of an op amp will be slightly greater than the voltage across the positive terminal of an op amp so we can say the output will move to negative v saturation so as we have seen here if the voltage across negative terminal of an op amp is greater than the voltage across the positive terminal of an op amp output will be minus v saturation so similar to this here the voltage across negative terminal is greater than the voltage across positive terminal that's why we get output voltage as minus v saturation so output voltage of a stable multi vibrator will move to minus v saturation now the output voltage is minus v saturation output voltage will be equal to minus v saturation therefore vp will be equal to minus beta v saturation so at this case the capacitor starts discharging to negative peak voltage which is equal to minus beta v saturation so in the first case capacitor was charging when output voltage is plus v saturation and when output voltage is minus v saturation capacitor starts discharging so once capacitor starts discharging to negative peak the voltage across vp will be slightly greater than voltage across the capacitor which is nothing but voltage across the negative terminal so if the voltage across positive terminal is greater than the voltage across negative terminal the output will be plus v saturation so output of multi vibrator will shift to plus v saturation and this process continues as capacitor again charges to the positive threshold voltage which is plus beta v saturation the output of the multi vibrator will shift to negative v saturation and as the capacitor discharges to the negative threshold voltage value the output of multi vibrator will shift to positive v saturation so this is how we will get the output in a a stable multi vibrator where we are having two quasi states that doesn't require any input to produce a square wave this is about the working of a stable multi vibrator hope you have understood the topic thank you